I'm gonna tell you something. This girl is the smallest boa I've ever seen. What's up, snake fans? Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents Daily, and I can't wait to go into the snake room today because we had a surprise boa litter. It wasn't really a surprise. I kind of thought it was coming, but what was really exciting about it is that this boa is the smallest female you will ever see deliver a litter. She was tiny. That's why we call her a super dwarf. Uh, the onyx line of uh, boas from Honduras, that's the onyx, the Honduran depositives, um, even the hypos that come from there, they're all really tiny. And, you know, I try to keep them as pure as possible, at least in the, in the breedings I've been doing. This female actually was seven years old, and this is her first litter she's ever laid. And to be honest with you, I um, actually tried to feed her yesterday because I didn't, I didn't, wasn't sure she was gonna go. That's how small this girl was. I couldn't even tell. Uh, she wasn't eating, obviously. She had all the signs of being um, having babies in her, but I even had a male in the pistol. That, that tells you uh, a lot about what uh, what's going on. So let's, let's go into the steak room and take a look at this litter. <laughs> You know, it's kind of important also, I think, that we go over the genetics of these boas that we're gonna see. This breeding that I did was a Red Baron. Now, the Red Baron is a combination of the onyx gene in its homozygous form, so it's super onyx, and it's also Honduran T-positive. T-positive gene will remove melanin, but not all of it, like a T-negative would. So there's different lines of it, and they're, most of them are un incompatible. The Honduran T-positive is not compatible with the Nicaraguan, or the Costa Rican, so you have to kind of keep them separate. But I find, and I know Frank Nutt would agree with me, that the Honduran T-positive is probably one of the most beautiful lines. It's got the most reds in it. So the Red Baron is a Honduran T-positive super onyx. And that was bred to a, what we call, what Frank is calling a Sumaton Honduran T-positive. A Sumaton just means super motley onyx, so it's kind of like an abbreviation. So it's, it's one copy of the onyx sheen, combined with one copy of the motley gene and it creates a kind of a striped animal, almost the way like um, uh, motley het leopard does the same thing. And as we, we seem to know by now, onyx and, and leopard are not the same gene, but they are allelic to each other. So they, they are compatible with each other. Now, having said that, so the Sumaton is the motley onyx Honduran T positive. So everything we get has to be Honduran T positive. Everything has to at least be a, um, a onyx because the father is super onyx and the mother has to throw either well it doesn't she doesn't have to throw she can throw onyx or motley so depending on what she throws you know that's going to determine if we have super onyxes or if we have more uh, sumatons which would be the onyx motley combination so the male has to throw onyx though and everything has to be honduran t positive so having said that let's go take a look at this litter and see what we got all right, now this is a great, great, great surprise. I really thought this girl was gonna have a boa litter. Uh, I was waiting and then, but she, this, I'm gonna tell you something. This girl is the smallest boa I've ever seen have a, a litter of, of babies. Matter of fact, I still have the male in with her because I didn't believe that she was gonna go, to be honest with you. And they, and they always seem to like each other. The male is actually bigger than her. He's got, that's his, that's her head with on his body right there. And he's got a big lump because we fed him yesterday and I couldn't figure out why the female didn't want to eat. Well, she didn't want to eat yesterday because she was going to have a litter of babies today. And she's really defending these things. So I really don't know if I can get my hand in there. Maybe I can distract her while Pablo gets his hand in there. Oh, there's another little baby there. Now, this breeding, as you can see, there's the, the, the father and mother is a, the male is a red baron, which is a super onyx Honduran T positive. And the female is a Sumaton, which uh, T-positive, which is a, basically acts like super. So it's an onyx motley. And when you mix onyx and motley, you get a striped animal. And then she's also Honduran T-positive. So all the babies are Honduran T-positive, which we, which we know is one of the best T-positive lines with the most reds and gray colors in it. But look how small she is. That's her on top. This is a tiny boa. This is way smaller than any ball python. And these are why we call this is why i call these guys super dwarfs because they literally are, are are teeny tiny boas and they don't have big litters but they have very big babies and healthy babies and i don't know if she's i, I think i see 
One, two, we capped at three. I haven't pulled her off yet. I don't know if there's any underneath her there. Um, there's two more. You think there's two more, Bob? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're gonna have to like get her out of here. Otherwise, she's never gonna let us touch her babies. She's gonna, you know, take my hand off. What a great, great litter this is. This is amazing. I'm so happy. I got these snakes from Freak Nut years ago, like probably six years ago, seven years ago. And this is the first time she bred because she was so small, you know? She just, they're, they're very light eaters. And you have to be really patient with these, but they're super cool because they're super little, but yet they have their boas. They have the personality of a boa. They look like boas. They're, they're boa in, you know, imperators. They're, they're the same species. They're just, they just don't get big. And that's what makes them so awesome. So, excellent. Litter, let's, uh, Pablo and I will pull this, these guys out of here and we're gonna see what we got. All right, we got four babies out of that little girl. We had a couple slugs in there, a couple of infertile odives, I should say. And it looks like we had, well, everything's T positive. Everything's gonna be Hunter and T positive in there. Everything's gotta be at least Onyx. So we have Onyx, Hunter, and T positives. We got two of them. And you can see it's something they haven't absorbed the yolk sac yet, so we're gonna leave them. I think actually one broke off there, Pop. Uh, these guys are a little too crazy. I should have just left them in the tub, maybe. But and then two of these look to be these might be sumatons, motley, onyx, Honduran T positive. So we're gonna put them in the incubator and just kind of let them chill out a little bit. And after they shed in about a week, we'll uh, come back to them and take a look what we got. We got some really nice babies here, though. I'm very very happy. The smallest female I've ever seen. There's my girl. She did great. Oops, she's, she wants to come play now. She's probably hungry now. She didn't eat yesterday. She's like, man, I shouldn't have taken that rat yesterday. But I'm hungry now. What a beauty. Look at how... To, I, I, I had... I, you know what, Pablo, you got to hold this. And shoot me because I want to show people how, how small this girl really is. Look at this girl. Look how tiny she is. She's way thinner than a ball python. She's, she's like a carpet python. And... She just it was never a big eater because she's a dwarf, super dwarf boa. And, but you can see the mature head she has. That head is very mature looking. And that's how you can tell. I mean, this girl is, she's seven years old. <laughs> she's not a young snake. She's very emaciated from obviously carrying those babies. She really wasn't eating while she was pregnant. Um, she would eat here and there. And she's gonna start eating again, hopefully. And this just goes to show you, the age is more important than size and that these super dwarf boas really are small, you know? Um, she, once again, she's Honduran T positive and she's also a motley and uh, onyx. So that motley onyx creates that like striped animal. And she was born, she was really, really super red. Once you see these babies shed after, you know, the first shed, you're gonna be like amazed at how beautiful they are. So you guys wanna get involved in the super dwarf onyx pro, uh, programs? Now I got snakes available. Actually, I, ha I have onyx. I've been selling onyx over the last couple of years, but. This is a really nice project because this has motley in it and motley adds another dimension because you get that slightly striped animal. So, good job. Yes. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today here at Palumbo's Pythons and Boas. I hope you guys enjoyed that little surprise boa litter we had. Four babies, but she is tiny. And I told you those super dwarfs, they don't have big uh, litters of boas or babies. They have big babies that are very healthy, very little moisture. If you notice, there was almost no goo in that litter. It's crazy, right? Isn't it weird how uh, these boas have evolved to produce small litters, big babies, no goo, and it's like they almost conserve every ounce of uh, energy they possibly have. And I guess the goo is probably a lot of protein and uh, you know hydration that they're losing and they can't afford to do that. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to see how the same boa imperator in Colombia will have tons of goo, be a huge snake, have small babies, and then you get the, and then you get these little dwarf and super dwarf boas that, that are the same exact snake but just have evolved differently. It's it's really miraculous, and that's why I love keeping them all. I like the big ones, I like the small ones, the ones in between, the crosses. But if you guys want to get into really the super dwarf boa breeding projects, you have to have patience but it is worth it because when they deliver, man, you get some beautiful stuff. I mean, and I have, we have blood mixed into those too because then that keeps them really small too because the, the bloodline from Panama, uh, Panama is very small too. Those are very small boas as well. I don't think anything's as small as the Honduran 
uh, boas, though. I really believe that this, these Onyx and um, Honduran tea positives are, are the tiniest. That's just in my experience, but I'm sure other people might want to speak otherwise. I mean, some of the dwarf uh, boas that are on like, like the Hog Island boas, which are actually, I guess, technically Honduran too. So, yep, I think the Honduran boas are the smallest. Anyway, if you want to get involved in the project, hit me up. I do have a lot of Onyx stuff that I produced this year. I have some from last year still and the year before that. These boas, remember, take a long time to mature, even the males. The males are not going to be breeding in, in 18 months. They'll probably take two and a half years. And they don't eat a lot, which is good for your food bill, but they're slow growers. All right, guys, you know what to do. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification. Hit the like button. I'll see you back tomorrow morning.